now we are going to discuss a derivation of the ideal equation means how we can drive the ideal equation uh, uh, derivation so we are driving it it is based on these three laws that is boyle's law charles law and avogadro law according to the boyle's law the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure and according to the charles law the volume is directly proportional to the temperature and according to the avogadro law the volume is directly proportional to the number of moles now these are the three laws now we will be combining for making the ideal equation we will be combining these three equations like three laws so volume is directly proportional to the sorry inversely proportional to the pressure and it is directly proportional like to the temperature and in uh, it is also directly proportional to the number of moles so for like for removing that proportional sign we'll be adding a constant and here the constant of the ideal equation will be r here r is basically a gas constant it is a gas constant so here v will be equal to r 1 upon p into t into n so now when we are going to multiply it it will be n r t upon p p is dividing here it will be multiply here p v is equal to n r t so that is basically the equation of uh, ideal equation uh, ideal gas that is the equation of ideal gas ideal gas equation and basically ideal gas equation is basically developed or we can say like uh, they, that is created on stp stp that is the standard temperature pressure and what is the constant values like 1 atm 273 kelvin 1 mole and 22.4 dm cube that is a constant volume constant number of mole constant temperature and a constant pressure so that all is basically uh, this ideal gas is like developed on this stp that is these all if we want to uh, make an equation of the r like constant here constant n and t are multiplying there it will be dividing so it will be n t so that can be the equation of the constant as well but this is the equation of the ideal gas